The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Local students are showing their mastery of math and science on their school's robotics team. Here to tell us more, we have Jennifer Landry, the chair of the science department at North Cross School, and two of her students, Nalan and Michael. Welcome, guys. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for Absolutely. Us. So tell us a little bit about this robotics club that you guys have going on at North Cross School, because it's really cool. It is. So the robotics club is part of our new STEM program. Mm -hmm. Um, the students get together um, and build a robot for the first competition. Um, but the STEM program um, really is, is kind of the draw for this um, club. Absolutely. These are kids who really love that science, technology, math. And you mentioned the competition. Tell me a little bit about what you guys just, you just got back from a competition, right? We did. Yeah. So tell um, me about this competition. Yeah. So it's for students who really, really are in, involved in this, in STEM. Um, and the competition uh, we went to really has a bunch of teams that come together. Um, you pair up. Um, and and it's, so it's two teams against two teams, mm -hmm. and really they're trying to overcome obstacles, trying to um, accomplish tasks that are predetermined. That's really cool. So, Michael, let's start with you. What drew you to this robotics team? Uh, I've always been interested in science and engineering, and when I heard about the robotics club, I was really excited, especially because my best friend was, <laughs> had started it <laughs> himself a year before. And I had joined the coding club with him, and he just really got me into it. I was really excited about That's it. That's really cool. So what are some of the things that you guys are learning um, to do in this club? Um, well, for me, it's the more interesting part is the coding part, because we coded like, the, um, how the camera works to detect things and how it can like, run on its own without us even touching it. But that we is always amazing. Look, yeah. That's really cool. So you guys are learning this in school. I mean, you're not even out of high school and you're doing things that some kids can't do forever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I certainly couldn't code yeah. anything. Um, so Nalan, tell us a little bit about the competition itself. Yeah, sure. yeah. So how was it? What was it like? So it was a really invigorating experience, right? It's nice to get together with a lot of STEM students. Yeah. Um, we did face a lot of problems being an inexperienced team. Most of our experience is uh, dealt with software mainly, okay. and our, uh, that's how the programming club started. Sure. We went with, uh, to a lot of competitions for mainly software side. But in robotics, there's an integration between software and hardware that's like, very important. Mm -hmm. And so our strengths mainly uh, uh, lied in our um, ability to code well. But uh, our hardware wasn't really top notch, so that's yeah. why we had a lot of issues with gears and stuff. But really uh, getting everyone to um, work together on both software and hardware was a really uh, nice experience. And That's really that, cool. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your robot here. Sure. We were talking about how it needed a name, but we'll call it Robot 12655. Five. Five. Yeah. Um, so tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about what this guy does and, and kind of the process you guys went into building it. Yeah, sure. So mainly in the competition, uh, we have to detach from this lander and we're starting at an elevated position. Okay. Uh, so we have to lower the base of the robot, touch the ground, and then we back off from the lander. And that seems like a really simple task, but it requires a lot of work in programming. Absolutely. Um, so I can run uh, like a demo really quickly. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show so us yeah, some, sure. some stuff here from so, um, one two six five five. I see. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea uh, is basically if you raise the arm, that's when you're lowering the the base of the robot. So that's what happens when you do this. Oh, gotcha. Because it's yeah. gonna be hooked onto something. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. And then when we um, when we come back down, uh, or when we yeah when we want to raise the robot, that's mm -hmm. when we're lowering the arm. Got that's, it. Yeah. So uh, that's what this is doing. Um, so yeah, that's that's the main uh, that's the main like point value that right. you can get from in the beginning of the competition. Uh, after we back out away from the lander, then we um, we basically have to push around these spheres and cubes into uh, depot boxes, which give us points. So. Yeah. That's really cool. So it's all very complicated, yeah. but I think the coolest part about it is you're controlling that robot from your phone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that you yeah. guys really built this. So this yeah. is an incredible program for you guys. You're going to get some skills that you can yeah. take with you for the rest of your life. Um, thank you so much for coming oh, on. You. And of course, if students are interested, both in North Cross schools and of course these awesome STEM programs that you guys are offering, tell us where people can find more information. Um, they can find more information on our website um, at northcross.org. All right, perfect. Thank you guys so much for coming on, and congratulations on the competition. Thank, thank you. you.